Dear domestic and foreign friends, I am excited to announce some achievements of our research in human body regenerative restoration science. From my point of view, this announcement is different from the others. in that this is the first time that human beings can formally announce a brand new science system other than medicine in the human life science system. This is the system of human body regenerative restoration science. Since the human civilization was recorded by the history, Exploration and discovery of the human body life mystery has never stopped. We also get new thoughts and enlightenment from life science. And what is this enlightenment? It is to find the human body regenerative potential. As Mr. Liu said just now, we generally believe that such ability is the privilege of lower species of animals. But today we declare that high mammals do possess such ability, and moreover much stronger than theirs. More precision derived from evolution will result in more and perfect regenerative potential. The point is, it was not discovered by human beings before. The achievements I am going to announce are in situ somatic cell regeneration. I wish all of you can remember this concept, and then all the questions will be resolved. The in situ regeneration of somatic cells have been confirmed through experiments and is part of the life sciences, just as we mentioned. What are the methods of experiment? An accomplished science system consists of basic research and clinical study. What is an accomplished science system exactly? It must have application results. It is not a real applied science system without an application result. Nowadays, there are many confusing concepts. But anyway, they may be regarded as exploration. But are there any results that obtained from these concepts? If no, all of the concepts are just exploratory discoveries. What I am going to announce today is human body regenerative restoration science, which is an applicable science system that can be directly applied to the health of human beings. We handed out to everybody a book, Human Body Regenerative Restoration Science, but you may not understand it since it includes announced achievements. So I would like to take 30 minutes to have a general explanation of the book. First of all, what is the science attributed of Human Body Regenerative Restoration Science? To sum it up, it includes two parts. One is to restore the abnormal to the normal status, and the other is to achieve the rejuvenation of aging tissues and organs. It has been the dream of human beings for a long time. But how do we achieve it? And the answer is quite easy. We only need to take an extra regenerative substance with each meal. Then the human body's congenial regenerative potential can be activated by the regenerative substance, and regenerative cells are induced in situ. What will these regenerative cells do? They act to replenish damaged and or diseased cells and replace aged cells and activate regenerative restoration. Please do remember this term, regenerative restoration, which may sound a little bit complicated, but when you review the phases restore the abnormal organs into normal status, this is regenerative restoration. 
and to replace aging cells with regenerative cells means rejuvenation. Today, it's my first time using the term rejuvenation, which is not easy. As we all know, it has been a fairy tale and dream of human beings for a long time. But today, we announce the results of achieving regenerative restoration. Before this announcement lecture, I have been struggling whether or not to use this term. Herein, I can announce for sure that the rejuvenation ability and mechanism lies in every human body, which is regeneration. Well, let's take a look at the current research of rejuvenation and restoration of the abnormal organs into normal status. What is the kind of research like in the world? It shares the same study scope in the hopes of prolonging lifespan and rejuvenation, which is an ideal. In the research of life science, scientists have always been exploring whether 100 year in the longest expectancy of human lifespan. But eventually, how long is it supposed to be? There is a common concept. After the theory of Tullamore was established, it is this kind of development that turns the dream into an actual reality and lets people believe that human lifespan is definitely not 100 years, but more than that. That is the theory of telomere. What is the telomere? The telomere is just like two caps on the top of each chromosome, which is the red part on the picture. According to the telomere theory, the telomere shortens as a person ages. However, when we live for 100 years, the telomere is only reduced by one-third. Therefore, people can imagine there is a possibility that we may live longer for 200 more years, additional 200 years. How can we live for 200 more years? So many specialists in the field of genetics and other areas are all exploring this mechanism. Someone says that human beings can live for 1,000 years or 500 years. But today we have confirmed through our animal experiments that a human being can at least live for 300 years. This is one concept. The other one is the theory of rejuvenation also resulted from telomere repair. We experts who engage in cancer cell research may know that a damaged telomere will soon be repaired by telomeresis. So cancer cells grow quickly but its telomere never decreases, which is the reason why cancer cells are called immortal cells and can live an immortal life. Certainly, growth of human beings is just like crop growth, which also undergoes the process of immaturity to maturity. But how long will it take? We say that it will take 300 years. Besides, we need to know what the current situation in this field worldwide is like. We may have accessed it through newspapers and news reports. But what is the current status of modern science applications of human beings? The current science status of human beings is that people are still waiting for the application results. And until now, there are few results that can be applied clinically. But our human body regenerative restoration science has already gotten some results, which I will show you today. We used animal experiments to mimic human beings. We chose male rats of 300 days of age, and they were fed with, at 300 days old, and achieved a lifespan three times the normal length and remained non-aging when, at twice the usual lifespan. Another trial is the five-year application study resulting in human beings. As Mr. Xiao mentioned just now, he is one of those volunteers for regenerative restoration. He did not reach five years and he has achieved regenerative restoration. Another achievement is trauma repair, disease treatment, and rejuvenation. Now let's look at the results. This is the study results of rats. The average lifespan of the rat is 480 days. We began to feed at 300 days. After regenerative feeding at 820 days old, 
which is equivalent to a doubled lifespan. The rats were sacrificed, and historical changes were checked. What are the historical changes? All organs remained at non-aging st As Mr. Liu just said now, professors from Peking Union Medical University did double-blind experiment, and they were only in charge of interpreting the tissue section and did not know where the rats came from, so this is totally one-to-one -one testing. In the end, they were astonished by our results. They thought that the rats of doubled lifespan age were young rats, and the rats of normal lifespan age were older rats. They were all surprised when we announced the results. All the things were reversed. The rats of double lifespan age fed with regenerative substances showed young a historical profile, while the rats of normal lifespan age fed with a normal diet showed an aged historical profile. This is the technology of human body regenerative restoration. All organs such as the heart remained at a non-aging status. So when Mr. Liu came to my office for the first time, he wanted me to test at first. Mr. Liu said, would you show me any solid evidence? I said, I have already have some evidence. When I presented these, Mr. Liu asked, is it true? I said, absolutely. It is the result of a double blind test. If you do not believe me, you can investigate. And then I even recommended Mr. Liu to ask my cooperators at Peking Union Medical University, where he has many close friends or followers. When he investigated them, they presented him some material. All the tissue sections of our study are stored in Peking Union Medical University, so all the materials are original. If rats can achieve this, what about human beings? That leads us to the following results. What are the results of human beings? Their appearance remains unchanged, or they even look younger. Their energy, spirit, vigor, and strength are thriving. Moreover, as Mr. Shao just said right now, I am here right now full of energy, spirit, vigor, and strength. Mr. Shao has also won the awards of longest distance twice consecutively in golf competitions. And from this we can see his improvement of the strength of his arm and body and overall changes. What's more, the intractable conditions are also decreasing. Next, let's take a look at this group. As shown in this picture, appearances remain younger instead of older. In this picture, the contour of the face is round. There is a significant difference between the appearances before and after the regenerative restoration treatment. Let's look at another group. Obvious changes are seen, and we can also see the appearance now is younger than before. This is not reversal of the two pictures. This is also one of our volunteers before regenerative restoration, and actually all of us can have regenerative restoration like that. This group of pictures is from old people before and after regenerative restoration, which shows great changes. This group of pictures is from the Director of Science and Education Division of the Ministry of Health and showed the comparison of his picture taken before he began the regenerative restoration and the picture taken after five years of treatment. He is out of China now because of business, otherwise he would have also given us a speech and shown the power of the science. This group of faces pictures is from Mr. Shao. Changes of facial form has nothing to do with cosmetology. This is not cosmetology. Indeed, it is regenerative restoration, which makes the whole muscle layer and other organs rejuvenate. The next group of pictures is from me. I am also one of the volunteers, and all of the changes are just like the others. This picture was taken when I was 48 years old. I am here right now, so you can tell which one appears older. Again, this is a picture of my face. Now you can see my face is just like that. And there the changes are obvious. This change is not an effect of cosmetology, nor the concept of cosmetology, which only changes the epidermal layer. Regenerative restoration treatment can restore all the tissues and organs outside the bone back into a younger status, and this is the human potential. I didn't make such an announcement five years ago, but now I have decoded the mechanism of rejuvenation and all of our volunteers have rejuvenated. This is totally true, and you can see the difference on my face. And there are still many shocking results. The same regenerative restoration results are obtained from all of the volunteers. Then how does one achieve regenerative restoration and rejuvenation? Definitely everybody wants to know the answer. Actually, it is quite simple. 
Just as Mr. Liu mentioned above, I built up my career from burnt treatments. I found that if a wound with skin and bone defects can regenerate new skin during burn treatments, then all the other organs can also be regenerated. That is the mechanism model of human body regenerative restoration. Another mechanism model is that we resolve the problem of scar formation, which means fibrotic tissues is removed and regenerative cells replaced the fibroptic cells. The reason human beings age is because cells stop proliferating at a certain point and change into fibrotic cells. Organs will age when cells become fibrotic. Thus, models derive from practice but not imagination. I am making good use of this chance to decode the mechanism. How does one implement regenerative restoration and rejuvenation? This is what everyone wants to know and is more concerning today. First of all, we should know what the regenerative substance is. We have said that we should eat it but what exactly is it? Firstly, we should know how to activate the human body regenerative potential. Secondly, how does one restore tissue organ defects? All of you may not be concerned about this point, but doctors are surely concerned about it. Thirdly, how do you regeneratively restore